Hey ladies and gents, welcome. Uh, we're going to talk about some chamber variations. They are the most interesting ones, but they are the most useless ones as well. And I want to show you why it is. Um, chamber variations, if we look uh, with holds and feints into account, then uh, with feints you kind of can do something good. Whereas you feint the first one and you chamber the second one. Um, but timing is really really tough so you really need to nail those chambers um, if you get it it's super high risk but it's super high reward especially because you're doing your feint and usually your second feint is already in place uh, really close to his, your enemy so if they go for that uh, chamber uh, within your feint that would be the counter but if you chamber their chamber it's really unexpected um, some people do take it in account though, as they uh, think with the hit block principle where they just swing and then block immediately. Um, but like once again, if you turn in the camera on, on that chamber, then the, ratio, the speed of it is like a little too fast for most people to realize that they should be in the block state already. Um, the second one is the chamber holding. It's... Um, when you chamber, you just left click as soon as it's about to hit your body, but you can hold in the mouse button. So you kind of click that, um, you hold when the cha we have the chamber in your hand. Um, but then what you're doing now is you're cancelling out it from being a legit chamber and you're making it a hold. So you're just killing what could have been a sweet chamber into a hold. Um, Something to note though, that I found out through experience, but I don't know if it's legit, is if you chamber hold it and then feint it to a different swing, this is my feint changing uh, ratio right here. If you do it after a chamber, like you hold your chamber and you do that feint, then that speed doubles. Um, so continuing it with another swing and then releasing it from your chamber hold, Usually it tends out to be super fast and really really like not common in this scene So if you can get those down, then that is a hell of a surprise on, on your enemy uh, But that is pretty pretty Risky business because you need to lock down your chambers at first and also be able to faint it in the direction that you think that your enemy is uh, Not looking or going to so it's about footwork chambers Feints um, and holds like everything in the whole package. If you can get it done, it definitely works out. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it to chamber variations. Like once again, it's really high risk, and uh, usually the reward is there if you can get it with your camera angle. If you get a little screw up, then you usually get hit or spammed out or just um, yeah, not getting it to work. So I don't recommend this. Um, tutorial. <laughs>